Hello! In this video, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks on how to use your Microsoft Outlook calendar effectively. Okay, let's get started by opening up our Microsoft Outlook desktop application. I'm going to organize these tips and tricks into three categories. First category is personalizing your calendar. Second category is your calendar views. And the third category will be scheduling meetings. Okay, first thing I need to do is pop over into my calendar icon on the left-hand navigation bar. Once clicked in, I can now see my month view of my Microsoft Outlook calendar. If you come to the middle of the screen and click this little pop-out arrow at the bottom of the Arrange tab, it will automatically pop open your Outlook calendar options. First thing you're going to do is set your work hours and days. So right here, start time and end time. This will help to ensure that calendar appointments are made during your scheduled working days and hours. You can choose here what day of the week you want displayed first in your calendar. Once you've set your start and end time and ensured that the days of the week you are scheduled to work are checked off, click OK. Next option that I would like to show you is how to turn on the weather display in your calendar view. Again, if you click the pop out arrow on the bottom right hand side of the Arrange tab, and then scroll all the way down, you will see here the ability to check off show weather on calendar. You can choose to show your temperature in Celsius or Fahrenheit and then click OK. Automatically the weather for the location that you are in will be displayed on the top right hand side of your screen. Next up, I'm going to show you how to change the colors of the events and meetings scheduled on your calendar. Outlook will default the color to be blue for any meeting or event that you schedule on your calendar. If you right click on your calendar anywhere and then scroll down to where it says color, you can choose to change the color of any of the events or scheduled meetings that you put on your calendar right here. Another way to personalize the look of your calendar is by changing the background theme and color. Again, click the pop out arrow in the Arrange tab, then click General, and come into the middle here where it says Office Background and Office Theme. Your Office Background will be displayed in the top bar of your Outlook window. You can change that to any design that you like. And Office Theme is how you can change the background color of your calendar. Once you choose, you can click OK, and that will automatically update and change the background theme and color of your calendar. Quick reminder, if you are in your email and want to see your calendar on the right-hand side of your screen while you're still checking email, remember that you need to go up to View and then to Do Bar and have Calendar checked off and if you want tasks checked off, you can have that checked off as well. This tip was from a previous What the Tech video. You can also choose to pop your calendar out into a new window by right-clicking on the calendar icon on the left-hand navigation bar and then clicking Open in New Window. This allows you the opportunity to use multiple screens and have your calendar be displayed on one screen or you can have your calendar view on one side of your screen and maybe have a web browser window open on the other side of your screen. This way you can multifunction and multitask while still being able to see your calendar in a separate pop-out window. If you do choose to do this view, don't click the X to close everything out. I recommend clicking File, and then exit 
to close the window because Outlook will remember your settings the next time you open Outlook and you won't have to set that again. If you do not want your calendar to be in a new pop-out window when you open Outlook, then click the X. The final tip I'm going to show you on how to personalize your calendar is the ability to add a calendar or share your calendar. If you click Add Calendar in the Manage Calendars tab, it gives you the opportunity to add a calendar from Address Book, which allows you to add a calendar from anybody within NASA BOCES. You can add a room list calendar. You can also add a calendar from the internet, maybe your favorite sports team calendar. Here you can find the option to create a new blank calendar or open a shared calendar. You also have the option to share your calendar or any of the calendars you have access to by clicking Share Calendar, choosing the calendar you want to share, and drilling down to the permissions to make sure that the people you are sharing your calendar with have the correct permissions to view your calendar. Your calendars and the calendars you have access to would be shared in your folder pane. If you do not see your folder pane, you want to click this arrow here. That will pop out the display of all the calendars that you are shared to or have access to. You can choose to pin the folder pane by clicking the little pin on the top right here. That will ensure that this window stays open at all times. And here you will see all of the calendars that you have access to view. Okay, now that we have gone over some different ways to personalize your calendar, next up is calendar views. Come back up to the Arrange tab at the top of the screen. Here you can see the different options you have on how you want your calendar displayed. Right now I currently have the month view checked off so I can see the entire month, but you can also change that to the day view, a work week view, a full week's view, or a schedule view. Pick the view that works best for you. In the folder pane, you have the option to click and drag to view more months than what is currently displayed. For example, right now I currently see March and April, but if I needed to see more months in this folder pane view, I can click and drag out in order to pop out some more months in my folder pane view. I can also click and drag the bottom bar down to display more months as well. This is called the Date Navigator. Another great feature of the Date Navigator is the ability to pick and choose specific days and weeks that you want displayed in your calendar view. So for example, right now you can see that my month view is being displayed because all of the days in the month of March are highlighted here in my Date Navigator. But what if I only wanted to see, for example, the second and third week of March displayed in my calendar only. If you click and drag across the days or weeks that you want displayed and then let go, that is what will be displayed in your calendar view. For example, you can even choose random days. If you click a day and then hold down the control key and click another day and another day and another day, you can now see those different days even in a different month, side by side by side. You can always go back to your default view by just clicking back into the Arrange tab up here. Next up, I want to show you that you can see different calendars displayed at one time. Currently, I only have displayed my calendar, but I want to also see the NASA BOCES calendar. So I need to check that off here on the left-hand folder pane, which now allows me to see my calendar and the Nassau BOCES calendar as well. This would be called the side-by-side -side view. Another way is to be able to overlay these calendars. If you click the arrow here, it will overlay both calendars on top of each other so you can see them in one display. In order to pop that out again and not have it be an overlay view, you click the arrow again, and now here you have the two separate side-by-side -side views. In order to stop seeing these two calendars, you can click the X here or uncheck that box on the left folder pane. 
If you are clicked into the week view, you can see the times displayed on your left-hand side here. If you wanna change the time increments, you can right-click on the times and choose here to change that. It automatically defaults to 30-minute display. Final tip for the calendar views is color coding. Again, you can see here that our defaulted to the pink that I chose in the beginning of the video. However, if I want to specifically choose to have an event displayed as a different color, I can right click on that event and go to categorize. Here you have a standard set of categories with standard colors. If you click all categories, you can rename or add your own categories to make this personal to you. So for example, I'm going to change all of my lunch appointments to yellow and I want to change the yellow category name. So I'm gonna rename that to say lunch. Once I click OK, all of those events will turn yellow. And finally, just a friendly reminder, conditional formatting can also be applied in your calendar as well. I went over this in the Outlook Tips and Tricks video, but I wanna show you how to do it in your calendar as well. Click on the event that you want to add conditional formatting to, then click View then view settings. Conditional formatting is next. And now I wanna add a new rule. I'm going to title this important. And I'm going to choose the color to be red. Now click condition. And here's where you're going to set the specific filter you want for this conditional format. So for example, I want any event organized by Clifford Steinberg to show up as red on my calendar. So I put him in and I click OK and then OK again and OK one last time. And now you can see here immediately that conditional format goes into effect and any event on my calendar that was organized by Clifford Steinberg immediately turns red. And last up, our final tip category how to schedule meetings on your calendar. Tip number one, if you have a meeting or an appointment on your calendar that you need to duplicate by clicking on the meeting that you want to duplicate, using your keyboard shortcut control C, clicking on the day that you want the event to be duplicated, click control V, and always remember to just double click into that event to ensure that all of the information is correct and then click send in order to finalize the event and have it sent to your attendees. Another way to schedule meetings is from your email. If you're in your email, you can click and drag an email and hover it over the calendar icon in order to schedule a meeting on your calendar with the email information attached. As you can see, it automatically popped open. You can now change the date and time I need to have a meeting regarding this email. I can title it here. And I can also choose to invite specific attendees. If I want to make it a Teams meeting, I could do that as well. Add your attendees and then click send. You can also reply directly to an email by scheduling a meeting. If you click on that email and then click the icon under the respond tab that says meeting. It will again immediately pop open. It will automatically give you the option to schedule a meeting. It also pulled in all the information from that email so you know exactly what the meeting is going to be about. If you click send, that meeting will now automatically be placed on your calendar. As a friendly reminder, if you are scheduling a meeting on your calendar, that requires other people to attend, remember to use the scheduling assistant in order to help you to find time that works for everyone. So add your attendees, then click scheduling assistant. And here you can scroll through to find an open space that will ensure every attendee is available to attend the scheduled meeting. If you need to show your availability to 
anyone with a Nassau BOCES or outside of Nassau BOCES and don't want to share your entire calendar, you could do that by sending them an email with your calendar attached. Do that by creating a new email, then go to insert and choose calendar here. Here's where you're going to decide what information you want shared from your calendar. You can choose to share a specific date range and you can also drill down and choose specific details that you want shared. I also recommend clicking show time within my working hours only and then click OK. Immediately your calendar is inserted into this email and can be sent to anybody within Nassau BOCES as well as outside of Nassau BOCES. And finally, if you display multiple calendars in your Microsoft Outlook calendar, please be careful that when you are scheduling events that you are scheduling them on the correct calendar. In order to ensure that, when you are scheduling meetings or events, just make sure that you are clicked into the calendar you want the event scheduled on. So for example, if I want to schedule an event on my calendar, I need to make sure that I've clicked onto my calendar and now I can schedule that event. If you have your calendars overlaid, that could be a little bit tricky. So just be careful and make sure that you are clicked into the correct calendar when you are trying to schedule an event. Now you know some tips and tricks that will help you to use your Microsoft Outlook calendar more effectively. Stay tuned for next week's What the Tech tip. See you then.